What's going on YouTube, Giosno right here, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to install real Android on your iPhone, being it an iPhone 7, 7 Plus or an iPod Touch 7 generation and of course many other devices in the future. Now you probably remember the Project Sandcastle by Corellium. This is legitimate Android, it's not emulated or virtualized. If you install this, it's basically going to be a dual boot with your iOS and this one in here and of course you will be able to install and run Android applications on your phone. So this is definitely going to be real Android 10. Now if you go ahead and here on the Project Sandcastle webpage, you can see how it looks like. So as I said, legitimate Android 10 and I'm going to show you how to install it. So all I have to do is to press get beta in here on the website, link will be in the description down below. And as I said, this only works for the moment for the iPhone 7, 7 Plus and iPod Touch 7, but it will be supported on all devices that are compatible with the Checkrain jailbreak in the future. Now it's not going to support any devices that are not supported by the Checkrain, so you do need to be able to jailbreak with Checkrain for this. So in order to get this you have to press download the Android build in here and you're going to get a zip file. I already have it in here and I unpacked it and these are all the files. Now before we do anything we have to connect the device to the computer and jailbreak it with Checkrain. So I'm going to press start in here, it's already connected, it's going to go into the uh, recovery mode and I'm going to have to put it in DFU mode so bear with me a couple of seconds. But you do have to be jailbroken with Checkrain before you start doing the procedure. So I'm going to keep pressing these in here and of course hopefully I can get into DFU mode. Okay, as you can see, the device is starting up right now. It says installing jailbreak. This will take a moment. So uh, it's not going to take too much time. It says booting in there. So um, yeah, you have to make sure that you are jailbroken with Checkrain before starting any sort of installation. So after that, we're going to be able to mess with the files in here. Now, as I said, this is not going to be a virtual. This is not going to be emulated or stuff like that. This is going to be a real Android. So you're going to run the latest version of Android on your phone. And it's going to be a dual boot. So you're not losing your iOS version and you can switch back to it again. So I'm going to press down in here and there we go. Now we are jailbroken with the uh, check rein and I should be able to connect the device with no problem. All right, so at this point we have to mess with the files in here. We have to run the setup mac.sh and of course start mac.sh after that. So we're going to have to open a terminal window. We're going to press CD in here and of course get the folder and drop it in here. Now there are a couple of instructions in here available and I would definitely recommend you to read them. And by the way, this is beta, so definitely be careful and do not do this on a device with a lot of personal data or at least do a backup first. I'm not liable for any damages. Now what we have to run is the setup Mac in here. So I'm going to run dot slash setup Mac.sh. And as you can see, it's asking me for the password, which is basically Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Now it says in here, starting to download NAND. This will take a few minutes. So we're going to have to wait in here and once it's completed, I'm going to be right back. All right, so as you can see in here, it says that it decompressed the NAND image successfully and the setup was successful. So at this point, we have to run the other file, which is this one in here, basically the uh, start Mac. But for this one, of course, we have to be in the FMO. So you're going to have to run start Mac in here, start Mac.sh. And as you can see, it says, please put your phone in the FMO mode. Now, in order to put your phone into DFU mode, you need to know the uh, key combination. So this one is different for many devices. Some of them use the home button, some of them use the uh, volume down button in combination with the power button. So um, you have to Google that one for your device. But in this case, I'm putting my device in uh, DFU mode right now so that the procedure can start. It says in here, found DFU mode and starting. So at this point, it says in here, Pongo loaded. Give it a second. Now it says in here, starting Android. And that's what you have to do after you install it every single time you want to boot into Android because by default your phone will continue to boot normally into iOS if you don't do this procedure in here. Let's say you want to boot into Android and not iOS. Well, you have to connect it to your computer in DFU mode and run Start Mac. The Setup Mac only has to be run once when you configure your device. And after that, in order to boot to Android, you use Start Mac. So at this point, as you can see here, it booted and um, the phone rebooted and actually the phone completed the boot procedure. So at this point, my device is running Android. Let me actually show you.
Alright, so this is basically how you can install real Android on your iPhone, iPod, or of course iPad in the future. Now, if you want to check out if your device is currently supported by the beta, press get beta in here, and of course there is a table available with all devices starting from the iPhone SE and also the iPhone 6, 6s and stuff like that, and the iPod Touch 6th generation and 7th generation. And all of these, of course, have multiple components, and you can see here which components are supported. The best support is achieved for the moment for the iPhone 7G, the one used in this video. So yeah, thank you for watching. The links are in the description down below. And of course, if you need any help with this in order to set it up or to remove it and stuff like that, you can check out the Jailbreak Central forum here at jailbreak.fc365.info where you can ask jailbreak questions. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, peace out.